Hello and welcome to our coverage of the WNBA on 2K Sports. And tonight we'll see the Dallas Wings as they go up against the Seattle Storm. This is Blake Suniga alongside Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, and we're excited for some 2K hoops. A recent trend in the league, extended careers, women going into their late 30s and still playing at a really high level. Yeah, Sue Bird was joking about it. One of her teammates' mother is Sue's age and a grandmother, but it's just great for the league. Getting longer careers means we can watch the stars for extra seasons. And it's great. A lot of it is about advances in medicine. And certain injuries that we saw, you know, five, ten years ago, like an Achilles tear. They used to be career enders. Not anymore. And some of it is with recovery and how far we've come in that as well. Bird no good. Thornton outside. Ogunbowale, guarded by Bird. Past Ogunbowale. And the layup falls. When you're 6'3", like Harrison, you get a nice view of the court. It allows you to see open teammates. Outside Charles. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Bird with the steal. Here we go, one on one from outside the arc. Rebounded by Mabry. Outside Agumawale. And two free throws coming up as she misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. That one on Lloyd. Puts her head down and attacks the basket. Agumba Wale is fearless on drives. Looking at Arike Agumba Wale, the first thing that jumps out at you is her scoring. She's just able to get it done in so many different ways. The first one falls, and what I love about Agumbawale is she knows her role. She understands her team relies on her to get buckets. She's so good at letting the game come to her. Tries her best to take those high percentage shots. Just a, a savvy offensive player. So she gets them both. An exciting, explosive guard with a promising future. Arike is a talented scorer who doesn't lack confidence in herself. Now here is Lloyd. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. And she's got her first opportunity at the line here tonight. One shot. And so she hits the technical free throw. The first overall selection in the 2015 draft. Drew Lloyd came into her own back in uh, 2018. She made it to her first All-Star game and won a WNBA title with Seattle. Now here is Lloyd. Bird guarded now by Agunga Wale. No good on the three. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Makes it off the glass. When Ugubunwale gets going to the rack, Arike is a great bet to finish. Outside Stewart. Pass to Charles. To the wing, right side. Hangs. And she takes it up and lays it in. Her quickness and soft touch around the rim. It allows her to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in the arsenal. Thornton, she's guarded by Williams. Marina Mabry on the wing. And it's Seattle with the rebound. That's a surprise. Out of character for her to miss those when the D's not right in her face. Pass to Bird. Good, and it's Gabby Williams who picks up the assist. 
top three all time in threes made. Bird has an easy shot. Doesn't need lots of space either. Enrique Agumboale on the wing, guarded by Bird. Now here's Mabry. She's tightly guarded. Pass to Collier. Just five on the clock. Here's Agumboale. No good off the back of the rim. Well, that's just not a sight you see very often because she has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when she's open. Now here's Williams. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Bird outside. Outside Stewart. In the storm, another three. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passing. A nice shot by Agunda Wale. Strong answer from Ogaman Wale, a title winner in college. She is a flat-out competitor. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Back to Charles. The shot misses. And Dallas the other way now. Now Gunbawale. She's got 12. And the call will go against Jewel Lloyd. That'll be her second foul of the game. Well, she has got to watch herself at this point. I mean, that's two fouls already, and she can't afford to rack up another one. Pass to Mabry. Shoots over January. And there are the wings with another bucket. A very effective shooter. Mabry well within her range there. Almost a layup if she's open. Here's Charles. Bird outside. Inside. Charles, good. Yeah, she's looking good. Three of four so far. Dallas in the lead. Outside, Agumboale. Harrison sets the screen. Enrique Agumboale drives in, and she banks in the layup. Yeah, she's played an important role in her offense today, and really without her, they might not have the lead right now. Outside, Charles. Stewart. Over Harrison. Stewart can't hit. Unusual miss. Typically, her skill on the inside trumps average defense. Seattle with the ball. It's a three-point game. Here's Charles. Got it for her fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. Mabry with it. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. Collier. Over Charles. A shot by Collier, no good. And here are the Storm now. They trail by one. Charles, covered by Collier. January sets a screen to the inside. It's stolen by Charlie Collier. Thornton outside. Agun Bawale. Picked by Thornton. Agun Bawale with it. And Williams picks her up defensively. Well, she certainly came to play. Six for seven. Pass to Charles. Screen by Charles. Down low. It's stolen by Charlie Collier. Thornton outside. Mabry with it. The screen by Collier. Now here's Agumba Wale. Covered by January. Agumba Wale shot is off. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into, letting her get that wide open. Nice touch in the floater. I like when a point like January gets crafty.
And here's Harris. Pass to Sabali. On the wing, Alicia Gray. It's rebounded by Seattle. Here's Prince. Shoots over Harris. Here's Talbot. And can't cash in from close range. Now here's Harris. And there's the whistle. That goes on January. That's her first foul. Seattle on D. They trail by one. Five on the clock. Pass to Sabali. From the wing. And McCowan gets the whistle that time. That is her first foul of the game. Here's January, covered by Harris. Now Prince. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Burton, covered by January. And another miss by Dallas. Well, she rushed that one, but he was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. to Talbot. Now Prince. They grab their own miss. McCowan with the steal. Now here's Harris. There's a screen by McCowan. Now here's Harris. Defense right on her. Five to shoot. Shoots over January. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. Pass to Prince. Here's Talbot. There's the triple. Satu Sabali comes up with the board. And here is Gray. From about 10 feet out, basket counts. Beyond January from long range, bangs home the trifecta. First quarter wrapping up here, and it's a tie game. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. A closely contested game here at the start of the second quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Storm? They've made the most of their fast break chances here in the early going. Yeah, tie your shoelaces because they can run and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. Seattle with the ball. Pass to Charles. Stewart, defended by Harrison. Stewart with the ball, working on Harrison. That's foul number two on her. It might not warrant the sitting her just yet, but another one before halftime, it definitely would warrant that. The nice thing about Brianna Stewart is I don't have to tell you how good she is. One look at her impressive Shoot trophy two. case is all it takes to see that she's one of the league's most elite players. And that one drops, so they lead by one. You know, when Stewart came into the league, she already had a collection of accolades worth bragging about. Oh, absolutely. I mean, she collected plenty of championship, a national player of the years in her college days. But ever since that uh, WNBA Rookie of the Year, she has only continued to earn awards, win championships, get rings. 
2021 was the historic 25th season of WNBA basketball, and the league did an outstanding job celebrating this great achievement. Yeah, the game between the Sparks and Liberty honoring the league's first ever game. Also, between those two teams, and that, and that was awesome to see. Yeah, and I enjoyed the league announcing the 25 best players of the WNBA's first 25 years. Some current stars, some legends. The WNBA did a fantastic job honoring its history. Now here is Lloyd. Bird left side. Eight feet out. Charles with the bucket. When she first entered the league, Charles wasn't really a, a big jump shooter. Now she's just so much smoother. Pass to McCowan. Up top of Gumbawale. On the wing, Alicia Gray. For three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Now Seattle takes it the other way. Obviously, they're evenly matched teams on the interior. The rebound numbers are very even. Yeah, impressive effort from both teams on the glass. Now here is Lloyd. Shot clock at six. Pass to Stewart. And the storm, another three. They've really turned it around offensively. Well, you know, anytime you can make more than half of your shots, you'll take that any day. McCowan with the ball. Gray up top. Abunbawale with it. Rihanna Stewart with the steal. Pass to Charles. Now here is Lloyd. Stewart. Defended by Harrison. Bird outside. Down to five on the shot clock. A rebound by the wings. She kind of short-armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Here's Mabry. Second quarter play with almost three minutes gone. And Agumba Wale gets it to go. The D has no answer for Ogilvy Wale, which is why she keeps getting the ball and capitalizing. Pass to Charles, to the wing on the left. Yes, and a nice assist from Seaver. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Now here's Mabry. Now Harrison. Defended by Stewart. Here's Gray. The rebound by Charles. Seattle in the lead. Pass to Bird. Back to Lloyd. And here's Charles. Bird. Back to Charles. Again, Seattle. Dropping dimes, Bird has incredible vision and feel. She sees the whole court. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to gain some momentum. Seattle with the ball. Lloyd with it. Gray picks her up. It's good, and she makes her first shot of the game. The body control on her is tremendous. Lloyd is not easily taken off her game. Impressive make. Yes, for basket number nine. She's missed only two shots from the floor all night. Well, she's been the key to their offense. She's been their offense with the way she shot the ball. Yeah, her percentage today has been through the roof. She is definitely not the one who put them in the hole. Williams can't get it to go. The wings trail. Gray left side. 11 feet out. That shot off. Now Seattle takes it the other way. Pass to Charles. Stewart. That falls. Nice speed that time from Tina Charles. It's one of the reasons Charles is a perennial all-star. She has incredible court vision. Finding the open player for the hoop. On the wing, Alicia Gray. glass on the layup. Bird with it. 
inside to Lloyd. Charles to the left wing. Another shot, and it's good on the layup. And they continue to control the glass. I think they've been the more physical team, guys, and that's why they're ahead. Usually the more physical, more aggressive team wins the game. Both teams will make substitutions. And here's Harris looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Sabali. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and she'll shoot one more at the line. All right, when we're talking pure entertainment, who do you guys think is the most fun player to watch in the WNBA? I'm a team first guy, so I love a passing offense. I'll take Courtney Vandersloot. I mean, she keeps on breaking her own assist records, and Vandersloot, she plays with flair, willing to make any pass. Oh, I love watching Courtney play as well, but I really like scoring. So I'm going to have to go with Kennedy Carter. In the 2020 bubble, she scored 35 against Seattle in a game, becoming the youngest player in league history to score more than 30 in a contest. Here's Prince. Parked down low that time and got hit with the three-second call. Harris Thornton outside Burton and the three ball is good very nice vision to find the open teammate Thornton a pretty good passer for a bit outside Charles and Tina Charles is going to pick up the foul her first foul. Way to get there first and absorb the contact. Yeah, clearly no flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Here's Harris. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Outside Sobley. Hit by Thornton. Outside Sobley. Harris. Call your left side. Stolen by Tina Charles. Pass to Prince. Back to Charles. Over Collier. And that one goes long. Dallas with the ball. Now here's Harris. Thornton. Pick by Thornton. Now Harris. Shot clock at five. Collier with it. Doesn't go that time. Great D that time from Tina Charles. Here's Calvin. Not 
going to fall. Starting off slow, she misses her first three from the floor. Part of what makes Kayla Thornton so effective on offense is her mix of power and finesse. She can mix it up inside, but then put a soft touch from outside. Here's Talbot. January, covered by Harris. Pass to Prince. Russell with the screen. Tries to snap the cold streak. And it's Prince missing. The size and athleticism of Thornton certainly makes her tough to handle down in the paint. Yeah, she likes going for those high percentage close range looks. Those seeing talents also help her on the glass. Thornton, a, a tremendous player in terms of her rebound totals. Collier can't get it to go. Seattle with the ball. January outside. Good work defensively by Kayla Thornton. So it's Dallas now. A four-point game. Now Harris. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. And here's Prince. The shot comes out. They're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Burton. Stephanie Talbot with the block. Three on three. Pass to Russell. Here's Talbot. Here's Prince. Shoots over Harris the left rim and out. She's missed every single shot. All of them she's attempted today. But somehow, they're still in front. Six second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Thornton's shot is good. Little bit of physicality from Thornton. Getting her shot to go. Now here's January. Covered by Harris. Pass to Prince. That's in, coming off an assist from Breon January. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. It's the Storm. They're up by five. And we'll be back right after this. the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. And Arike Agumbo-Wale has been sensational here. He played a very smart game offensively. Looking for and finding gaps in the defense and always looking for the best shot possible. Yeah, the way she played that first half, well, that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about being efficient on offense. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. Seattle leading. Outside Stewart. Pass to Lloyd. Isabel Harrison with some nice D. Thornton outside. Outside, Agumbo Wale. Collier. Here's Mabry. Connects from three-point range. Her three-point shot will take her far. Mabry is a great long-range option. Capable of knocking down from deep. Pass to Lloyd. With the mark. And that's two points on the layup. The teardrop is one of those, oh no, oh no, oh yes, shots. 
right side, Agumawale. Thornton. That one falls, coming off Arike Agumbawale's nice feed. Most jump shooters prefer to shoot off the pass, not the dribble. Thornton, no different. Back to Lloyd. Outside, Stewart. And again, Seattle with the triple. Three's going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. Now here's Agumbawale. 22 points for her. And the call will go against Jewel Lloyd. Well, that is her third foul so far. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. Mabry with it. Picked up by Stewart. Clock at six. And a kick out to Gumbawale. And again, it's Dallas with a three. Well, whether Enrique is off the dribble, screen, catch and shoot, spotting up, whatever. She hits threes pretty much every way possible. Now here is Stewart, 13 points in this game. Now here's Mabry. Right side of Gumbawale. Gumbawale is doubled. For the lead. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here is Lloyd, Mabry covering, Bird outside. The three-pointer off the mark. Dallas trailing here. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. Pass to Gumbawale. Back to Thornton. Harrison the screen. Shoots over Williams. Oh, and she misses the go-ahead basket. And here is Bird. Charles the screen. Pass to Lloyd. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Agumba Wale. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock with the floater and the layup is good for any under six foot guard like Ogerman Wale the teardrop is a must allows you to score over bigs in the paint now here's Williams Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game pass to Mabry on the wing Kayla Thornton in the screen. Here's Thornton. Can't hit that one. And the storm going the other way now. This game has been very close in a lot of areas. The rebounding is one thing that's gone in their favor. Yeah, effort and determination on the glass. They, they really can compensate for a lot of deficiencies. Dallas on D. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Bird outside. Six on the shot clock. Williams. And she can't stop this drought. Another miss. Gray up top, guarded by Bird. Pass to Mabry. Cowan. Good. Defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And if they don't start showing some aggression, things are just going to get worse. Here's Bird, guarded now by Agumba Wale. And Sue Bird gets double teamed. They set the screen. Now here is Lloyd. Defense is right there. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. It's been a bit of a struggle for her this quarter in terms of scoring the ball. 
Mabry with it. Five points in the game. McCowan covered by Lloyd. Shot from six. And Dallas again with the bucket. Well, this is where she's going to make her money professionally. 6-7 with touch. McCowan will score points in the paint for years. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. they got to score. So both teams making some changes here. Now January. Five points in the game. Russell with the screen. Pass to Prince. Will it go? Nailed from three-point land. You know what? I don't care how far from the bucket she is. You've got to have a defender on her. She's just too good from long range. Now here's Gray. Now here's Harris. Here's Sobeli. Just five to shoot. She got right to the cup using that screen. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize this team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. Push up. Uh, as the number two pick in 2020. Satu Sabali entered the league already a star on the international level with Germany. Sabali will be a force in the WNBA for years to come. Here's Talbot. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Prince. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Russell. That's her first foul. Dallas with the ball, leading by five. Gray outside. Six to shoot. Pass to Harris. The three is up. And again, it's Dallas with a three. Just like the coaches drew it up, easy hoop. Gray with the perfect feet. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Here's Talbot, and stolen by Gray. And here's the fast break. And here's Harris. Knocked loose. That's rough. No one to blame but herself. She should definitely uh, score that time. I don't know what happened. With a step back. And it's Prince missing. She's gone cold, and I'm not sure she's their best option offensively as they look to cut this deficit. Sabali, guarded by Russell. Pass to Harris. Sabali. 
Here, McCowan, high post. That's in there. Satu Sabali with the dime. I mean, come on. You think a little tap is going to stop McCowan? No way. She's just too tough. Russell with it. Kick by Russell. Here's Talbot. And here's Prince. Here's the pick to the middle. Here's Magbagor. Buries it down low. Well, that's why January's teammates love playing with her. She's unselfish and understands that basketball is a team sport. That's the McCowan. Soft touch off the glass. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, but they've come from inside the paint. Now here's Russell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Here's January. Tries to keep it alive. And the ball out of play. The Wings will have it. Dallas with the ball. 10-point lead. This is their biggest lead. And stolen by Brian January. To the paint with two seconds left. Finding the right path. We see the experience for January. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. It's the Wings leading by eight. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Well, I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. And with the accuracy to go along with that vision, she put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That is how you orchestrate. And the final period of play just about to get started here. Pass to Harrison. Oh, you're up top. Arjun Wale. Horton outside, launches it. Good, and the assist goes to Agumbawale. The transformation of Thornton is incredible. From Wave to a WNBA starter. And really, the three-point shooting, a huge reason she's in the league. Now here is Lloyd. Bird outside. Inside, out to Lloyd. And stolen by Mabry. Ogumbawale. Ogumbawale is doubled. Harrison. And the three off target. Outside Williams. Outside Lloyd. Outside Stewart. Bird outside. Outside Lloyd. Seats the three pointer. Decisive. It's a quality for any good shooter. Lloyd has it. Just get the ball, fire away. Agumba Wale is doubled. Pass to Mabry. Down to five on the shot clock. But they'll get another chance. 
Here's Harrison. Shoots over Williams. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't take the lid off. Outside, Stewart. Off target from outside. Well, with a clear look at the basket, she doesn't really miss a lot of those. Up top, Agumbawale. Agumbawale is doubled. Pass to Thornton. Harrison sets a screen. Now here is Thornton, covered by Lloyd. She has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys, but as a whole, it really hasn't affected the team that much. Dallas in the lead. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Here's Mabry. The shot will not fall. Excellent D there from Mercedes Russell. Well, thus far they managed to overcome an off game from her offensively. Well, Super knows that she has the green light to fire away. And she goes up with confidence off the catch. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Pass to Mabry. Wale. To the middle. That's good, and it's Charlie Collier with the assist. Nice decision from Collier finding the wide open teammate. Outside Stewart. Now Charles. Field goal number nine. She's nine for 12 with that basket. She is feeling it, shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Outside of Gumawale. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Here's Collier. Stewart grabs the miss. You know, you watch her, and you see her mechanics are totally out of whack right now. She's lost all feel for her shot. And it's not hard to tell. You know, just look at her numbers right now. Nothing is going down for her. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. And the points, they add up in a hurry when you give them looks from deep. Now here's Collier. And the layup's good off the glass. Hustle points from Collier hitting those offensive boards hard. Side Lloyd. Pass to Bird. And here's Charles. Covered by Collier. Williams with it. Six on the shot clock. Now Lloyd. Young Young. Offensive board. Charles with the bucket. Easily one of the most tenacious rebounders in the league. Charles is very familiar with second chance points. Now here's a Wale. Pass 
to Thornton. Harrison the screen. Thornton with it. Picked up by Stewart. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Brianna Stewart. That'll be her second foul of the game. Now here's Mabry. Harrison the screen. And here's Mabry. You know, the quickness of Lloyd makes her a great defender. She can match uh, step for step in terms of quicks with anybody in the league, and it allows her to frustrate opponents. Pass to Bird. Here's Lloyd. Bird outside. Just five on the clock. Boots over Agundawale. And Charles is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for her. And it's the Wings ball. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Agundawale. Stewart grabs the miss. The storm trail. Bird, Mabry covering to the inside. Stewart, the shot's good on the assist by Tina Charles. Stewart's presence down low stems from her skills and finesse. She's something to watch and something to admire. Now here's Harrison. Not a lot of room. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. That turnover is not typical of the performance that she's turned in today. In fact, it's her only turnover of the game. And to me, that just shows what a solid job she's done today of taking care of the rock. Now here is Stewart. Down low. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Charlie Collier. That is her first foul of the game. And here are the storm now. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. And the shot is good. One aspect of their play today that's been far superior is their passing. And that kind of flow, it can be elusive. Uh, but the great offense is having and that's just what they've shown tonight. Since halftime, she's finally coming around. Now here's Burt. Guarded now by Agunga Wale. Here's Stewart. The shot, no good. So Dallas will take it the other way. Pass to McCowan. Agunga Wale. Collier with it. That one falls, coming off Arike Agumbawale's nice feed. With fantastic touch around the rim, call your automatic down low. Outside Williams, screen by Bird. To the paint, here's Charles. Nice pass, led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Superb assist. She was crafty, creative, and the ultimate teammate on that play.
Soon to Wale. Guarded by Bird. To the middle. Good for the fifth time in five shots. She remains perfect. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal skirt. Good is good. That's her seventh basket in 12 attempts. Making it look so effortless. Once Stewart gets rolling, she's like an avalanche on offense. Outside of Umawale. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, the best scorers oftentimes have an inside and outside game, and Akuma Wale flashes signs of both. Now here's Burt. No luck on that one. Here's Akuma Wale. Akuma Wale's double. Mabry. Arike Agumbawale's nice feed. A player who knows their role. If a teammate sets up Mabry, she's got the green light to fire. Bird outside. Outside Stewart. And again, Seattle with the triple. Absolutely essential to answer them back to the three of the row. And that gets this crowd going nuts. Yeah, a close game like this, every possession is crucial. They've got to give as good as they get. Please, please don't take your eyes off her because she can make plays for multiple spots on the floor. Now here's Burt. Outside Stewart. The three-pointer, no good. Kumbawale's double. to Thornton. Now maybe. Shot clock at six. Green by McCowan. Hoots over Williams. And that one hits back iron. Time called here. The Storm decide to talk it over. And what do you guys think? Yeah, we're watching the huddle. I think the coach is telling them to take the easy points in a hurry, then foul as soon as possible. Yeah, and you shouldn't just foul blindly, though. Go for the steal with all they've got before that. Yeah, you could go for the steal for a second or two, then foul. with the ball. They need to score it quickly. No time to waste. Money! And she has brought them within two points. That pass into the paint was dead on target.
Dallas with the ball. Two-point game. And they foul intentionally. And they're going to have to do it again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those seconds away. Nope. And you've got to foul. It's going to come down to free throws. Pressure situation. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. at a three-point lead. A national champion in college, Marina Mabry went late in the second round of the Sparks in 2019, and she's been playing with a chip on her shoulder since she got to the WNBA. So she gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. That was a critical trip to the stripe. They have a two-possession lead now. And it's the Storm with the ball. And here's Sue Bird outside. The rebound by Thornton. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. No choice but to foul there, but she's probably the last player they want to send to the line. Yeah, but, you know, they didn't have the time Shooting to be two. selective. Stopping the clock was a priority yeah, there. Yeah, that's a good point. They, they just could not waste any more time. He hits the first one, and that puts them up five. You marvel at the perseverance of Kayla Thornton, cut in 2015, not even in the league in 2016. She was a training camp invite in 2017 who has made it. No mistakes there, and I think you can close the book on this one, guys. Pass to Lloyd, takes the three, gets the three to fall. Man, this fourth quarter has been tremendous really for them from three-point range. Yeah, a ton of their points coming from long range here. What a barrage. And what a time to hit the threes. Shooting two. the first one and that gives them a four-point cushion and she hits both free throws and it's a five-point game and so it's Dallas with the W a truly gutsy performance away from home it really was when this one was hanging in the balance late they show just what tough-minded squad they can be. And that'll wrap it up. 